With 2020 being named the worst year of this century, a lot of people are hoping that 2021 will be better. Sadly, this might not happen. From natural disasters wiping out humanity to humans turning into zombies, I'll be counting down the biggest predictions in store for 2021 only in today's video. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and today I'm bringing you the video Top 10 2021 Predictions That Will Change the World. Buckle up, it's an intense one. Starting off this countdown, we have the vaccine. As you all probably know by now, the vaccination process is currently underway. And a lot of people are thinking that by 2021, we will have regained some sense of normalcy. Sadly, that's probably not going to be the case. In fact, scientists think that even with the vaccine, COVID is still going to be around for years. In order to get rid of the virus, it has to be eliminated worldwide. But according to scientists, this has become near impossible because of how widespread the virus is. The other chance we have of it being eliminated is if we build up enough immunity, either through infections or a vaccine. But the vaccination process is going to take a very long time. All we can really gain from this is that masks and physical distancing is going to be here for quite some time. Coming in at number nine, we have the catastrophes. Now before I get onto this burning point, why don't you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because you know what, it really helps us out. Baba Vanga, for those of you who don't know, was a blind Bulgarian mystic and clairvoyant. And she has had a lot of predictions for this world. In fact, a number of them have come true. Baba Vanga started getting these visions at the age of 12 after she lost her eyesight due to a tornado. The tornado lifted her up and flung her into a field. As a result, her eyes were filled with sand and dust that caused her to go permanently blind. She said that after this accident, she developed her gift. From there, she began to hear voices and she could talk to the dead and to plants. And of course, she had visions about future events. Now, it is said that she has an 85% success success rate with her predictions, making what I'm about to tell you that more creepier. According to Baba Vanga, she predicted that 2021 will be filled with great suffering and disasters. She said, and I quote, the world will suffer from a lot of cataclysms and great disasters. The consciousness of people will change. Difficult times will come. People will be divided by their faith. We are witnessing devastating events that will change the fate and destiny of humanity. Great. Now she didn't say what exactly these devastating events are, but we should probably buckle our seatbelts. According to her, it's gonna be a rough and intense year. In our eighth spot, we have the new vaccine. As I covered in my other video titled, which vaccine is better, Pfizer or Moderna, new vaccines are currently underway. Even though we have those two vaccines, there might be another one that emerges in 2021. This vaccine could be one that's more easily transported, doesn't need to be stored in freezing temperatures, and maybe this vaccine only requires a single dose, not a double. That would be huge for a number of reasons. This means that people People living in far off isolated communities would have easier access to a vaccine. Not only that, but chances are this vaccine will be better than Pfizer or Moderna's vaccine because it will have a chance to learn from their mistakes and whatnot. <laughs> and whatnot. Moving on, number seven, we have the attack of the AI. Now, this one might seem a little crazy at first, but just hear me out. So this next prediction was presented by Nostradamus. Nostradamus was a famous 16th century prophet known for his book, Les Prophéties, which is said to hold predictions of future events. Similar to Baba Vanga, a bunch of his predictions about the world have come true as well. So his predictions do have some credibility behind them. Well, he believed that in 2021, artificial intelligence is said to become smarter than human intelligence. And this is going to result in them taking over the world. He predicted, and I quote, the moon in the full of night over the high mountain. The new sage with a lone brain sees it by his disciples invented to be immortal, eyes to the south, hands in bosoms, bodies in the fire. Okay, I know it seems very cryptic, but a lot of people are convinced that he was referring to artificial intelligence overthrowing humans. Soon we are going to create robots that will be too smart for their own good. Honestly, I think it's too late. So I think everyone needs to throw out their Amazon Alexa, Roomba, smart fridges and watches, everything, because it's gonna be us against them in 2021. I'm kidding about that last part, but honestly, an AI takeover isn't that hard to believe. 
In our sixth spot, we have the natural disasters. 2020 has been faced with a number of natural disasters, like the Australian wildfires that destroyed more than 6.3 million hectares of land, to the disastrous California wildfires. This year alone, nearly 40,000 wildfires have burned over 4 million acres. And in 2021, they're only going to get worse. Next year, according to scientists and environmentalists, we are going to experience warmer and drier conditions and increased droughts, which wildfires thrive in. But we have more to worry about than just forest fires. Because of climate change, we are going to be facing more natural disasters like tsunamis and hurricanes. So be prepared for next year. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the earthquake. Who here watching this video lives in California? Let me know in the comments below. If you do, I'm sorry to tell you this, but in 2021 it said that an earthquake is going to destroy all of California. Yeah, so apparently Nostradamus said that a release of energy in the Earth's upper mantle will cause a huge earthquake in the western lands. According to interpreters, this is California. So that means this earthquake will destroy all of California, meaning millions of people will be injured, millions more will die, and a lot will be left homeless. Time to pack your bags and move to a different state. In our fourth spot, we have the microchips. Again, Nostradamus has come up with some pretty weird predictions. This next one suggests that in 2021, American soldiers will turn into cyborg type creatures. Basically, he suggests that some humans will be inserted with a chip that will make them become superhumans. In particular, soldiers. So I'm kind of thinking that this chip is inserted so that soldiers will feel no emotions and just become ruthless killing machines. He said, and I quote, the newly made one will lead the army. The Duke deprived of his eyes in Milan in an iron cage. I don't know how people interpreted that as soldiers getting inserted with chips, but they did. And apparently Nostradamus said that this needs to be done to save the human race. So it's pretty creepy. Moving on to number three, we have the continual outbreaks. This one makes me lose hope for this world. It's thought that in 2021, more outbreaks are going to occur from different viruses, or the COVID-19 virus mutated like it already did. So child astrologer Abiha Anand actually posted a video on his YouTube channel in August of 2009 where he predicted our current pandemic. Since he predicted it, a lot of people want to know what else he sees in store for the future. Well, recently he posted another video saying that next year, 2021, more viruses will come, resulting in more outbreaks. He predicts that some of these outbreaks will be more severe than COVID. Great. Doesn't that just cheer you up? Looks like I'll never give anyone a hug ever again. In our second spot, we have the zombies. Okay, I don't know what on earth was going through Nostradamus' mind when he predicted this one, but it's quite wild. Basically, he said, and I quote, Few young people, half dead, to give a start. Dead through spite, he will cause the others to shine. And in an exalted place, some great evils to occur. Sad concepts will come to harm each other. Temporal dignified, the mass to succeed. Fathers and mothers dead of infinite sorrows. The great one to be no more. All the world to end. So this was interpreted as someone creating a biological weapon that will produce a virus that can turn us all into zombies. Yeah, okay, Nostradamus didn't come out and use the word zombie himself, but the whole half dead human thing he mentions is pretty creepy. And with all these viruses that are said to occur, maybe we will turn into zombies. And in our number one spot, we have World War III. Nobody wants another world war. But tensions are rising between countries, especially now because of the situation we are currently in. Sadly, Nostradamus predicted that in 2021 there will be another war. He said, and I quote, In the city of God there will be a great thunder. Two brothers torn apart by chaos while the fortress endures. The great leader will succumb. The third big war will begin when the big city is burning. Yikes. So a global war might just break out between the most powerful countries in the world. The fact that he said the third big war will begin when the big city is burning makes me think that a city gets destroyed by some sort of nuclear bomb. So could it be that in 2021 we face the threat of a nuclear war? Alright guys, let's move right along to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, what if Among Us was real? Taskmaster commented, the thing is, we have imposters around the world and they don't even hide. That is so true. We have real imposters. 
among us daily. So, Vodka Addict commented, Ben will kill Red for being sus in real life. I love how you typed it out like that. It's because he was drinking vodka while he wrote that. <laughs> the awesome Pablo Mater commented, What if the killer clowns from outer space were real? No, thank you. That's all I'm gonna say. No. Alright guys, that's all the comments I'm showing out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Life's Biggest Questions for more thought provoking videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and stay curious YouTube. In today's, on today, only in, only on today's, in today's video. Show up. Um, but the vaccine, hold on, but the vac, but the vaccination process. And she has had a lot of predictions for this earth, for this earth, for this earth, for this earth. Sorry. Like the Australian wildfires that occurred early, it's not earlier this month. No, no. To the disastrous, to the disaster, no, to the di ha. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, so apparently Nostradamus said that, and I quote, no, that's not a quote yet. And uh, a lot of people will be honest. I can't say it like that. And a lot of people will be honest. Okay. Help from the. M what is he even saying? <laughs> what is this? Nostradamus, what are you doing? Okay. I'm gonna. Uh, oh my god. Oh god. I just wanna take a break. <laughs> ah! So, a child astrologer, Abiha. Abiha Anand. What? Bro, he's just going on and on. <laughs>